Yes, you read that right. The probability of you dying due to coronavirus is half the probability of you dying due to unsafe sex. In short, if you fuck up while fucking, you will be fucked. Let's look at some other reasons which have more chances to kill you than the coronavirus. Drug use kills 0.58 million people a year. Poor sanitation, 0.77 million. Low fiber diet, 0.87 million. Quite surprising, eh? Secondhand smoke, 1.22 million. Secondhand smoke is like getting into an accident due to an asshole driver. Low physical activity, 1.26 million. Plenty of us are doing it right now. Alcohol use, 2.84 million. Plenty of us want to do this right now. Air pollution, 4.9 million. Maybe slightly reduced now. I'm talking about the pollution. Smoking, 7.1 million. The deaths caused by smoking is more than the deaths that can be caused by the largest nuclear bomb in the world. Hmm, this can be put on the cigarette packet. Smoking is more dangerous than a fucking nuclear bomb. Now, let's get into the statistics related to death by coronavirus. Before that, let me tell you that I am not a data analyst or a scientist or a researcher or a doctor. I'm just a normal guy with an internet connection. What are the chances of you dying by COVID-19? Considering the whole population of the world, that is almost 7.8 billion, the deaths by COVID-19 is 0.54 million till date, which is 0.007%. Now that's exactly the chance of you getting infected with COVID-19 by a fart. Yes, farts can transmit the coronavirus. I have attached the link to the news article I read and I must say it's really funny. If the percentage of death is so low, then why are people scared to shit? with the virus. Apart from the fact that it's an easily communicable disease, there is another elephant in the room which we need to address. And it goes by the name of case fatality rate. Now, I have read and also watched a video on how to pronounce F-A-T-A-L-I-T-Y and it is fatality. Okay, coming back to the elephant. Case fatality rate is number of deaths against the number of confirmed cases. So currently we have around 12 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and about 0.54 million deaths making the case fatality rate as 4.6%. The problem here is that we still have active cases and hence can't finalize 4.6 as the case fatality rate for COVID-19. Thus, we take the percentage against closed cases, which means cases where we have an outcome. So the number of closed cases is around 7 million and the deaths are about 0.54 million which makes the case fatality rate as 7.5%. Now this means that if you are a COVID-19 positive, you have a 7.5% chance of dying. I'm sure you have completely ignored the 92.5% chance of recovering. That's how human brain works. Fear. The chance of death here is exactly equal to getting 92% or more in your academics. We all know how rare it is. By the way, it doesn't mean that if you scored If you have scored 92% or more, you'll die. It was just a reference. So is 7.5% a fixed figure? No. There are factors affecting it and let's discuss it. First of all, the case fatality rate is just an estimate based on the past figures and hence it doesn't mean that in hospital with 92 COVID-19 patients, people will start dying as soon as a 93rd patient arrives. No, it just means that so far for every 100 COVID-19 positive patients, 7.5 people have died. One important factor that brings down case fatality rate is age. Let me quickly show you the age corresponding case fatality rates for four countries that I got the data for. This is for Italy. Here you can see how the case fatality rate increases after the age 60. This is South Korea and here the case fatality rate increases post 70 years. Same with Spain, 70 years and China again, 70 years. I just took the average of all the four and here is what we get. Below 50 years of age, the rate is in zero points from 50 to 59. It's 1.5%, which is lower than the chance of a girl getting pregnant, even though the guy has used the condom properly. 60 to 69 years, it's 5.5%, still below the actual case fatality rate of 7.5. 70 to 79 It is 15%, which is exactly the chance of a girl getting pregnant because the guy didn't use the condom properly. 
80 plus is 21 percent which means one in five cases may not recover just a quick fact 57 percent of the deaths that take place annually is in the age group of 65 and plus the next factor that affects the case fatality rate is comorbidities which means that apart from covid 19 the patient also had another health issue like diabetes hypertension cardiovascular disease etc it's been found that your chances of dying due to COVID-19 gets reduced by 10 times if you don't have any comorbidity. So this is how the age-wise case fatality rate will look like if you don't have any comorbidities. Other important factor that affects the case fatality rate is testing. Right now, majority of the people who are tested have the symptoms or have directly come in contact with the positive patient. Apart from these, there are a lot of people who are asymptomatic or have very mild symptoms and hence don't get tested. Some fear the aftermath and don't get tested. Until and unless testing is conducted on a large scale, we can't be sure of the case fatality rate. There is a very high chance that the case fatality rate may drop substantially when testing is conducted on such scale. Other aspect about testing is the sensitivity, which means it may show negative when you're actually positive. According to a report, the sensitivity of the RT-PCR test, a test used to check whether you are COVID-19 positive or not, ranges from 71 to 98%, which means that there is 2 to 29% chance that you test out to be negative when you are actually positive. Then comes the final one on my list, time. As the saying goes, time heals everything. In this case, if not everything, it definitely is increasing the chances of healing drastically. In mid-April, the percentage of deaths we as closed cases was 21.5%, which has now reduced to 7.5%. Six months have passed since the first occurrence and now we have quite a good knowledge about the disease. We have some medications and the vaccination are also at its final stages. At least that's what I've been reading in the news for months now. Heck, we have also given some fancy names to the virus and the disease. Literally, the times are changing. I would not be surprised if the case fatality rate drops to 6% by the end of July. So why this video? In one of my friend's circle, a man was showing symptoms of COVID-19 and he was taken to the hospital. They took a sample to test for COVID-19 and simultaneously started treating him for his symptoms. In two days, he recovered. But before discharging him, the doctor waited for the COVID-19 test results and when it came, it was positive. He got completely scared and his blood pressure shot to extreme levels. Within half an hour, he was in the ICU where he eventually died. I then searched online to find whether there were really people who died of the fear and came across a few articles. This made me think whether coronavirus was really so deadly to actually be scared to death and in the process, I made this video. See, I don't want to steal the thunder from the coronavirus. But statistically, COVID-19 is not that deadly and will eventually wean off at least the case fatality rate like malaria and typhoid. Fear affects your immune system and that's not something we want now. Be strong, be safe and don't let fear kill you.